the graph isomorphism problem or the W1 test. To decide why the two graphs are structurally identical or isomorphic is a classical problem. Now imagine you have these two molecules. Are they isomorphic or are they non-isomorphic? An isomorphism from a graph G to a graph H is a one-to-one -one mapping pi from the vertices of the first graph onto the vertices from the second graph that preserves adjacency and non-adjacency. This is an important definition of isomorphism that we're going to use. An automorphism or a symmetry of a graph G is an isomorphism from G to G itself. Now the collection of all automorphisms of G form a mathematical group, a permutation group. We combine graph, symmetry and group dynamics. Look at these two graphs. Are they isomorphic? Let me show you that they are. We have a step-to-step -step visualization of one WS test. We start with five nodes and a simple graph. First step is we look at each node specific. Now the two outermost nodes have one to three connections, one to three outgoing connections. Let's color them yellow. And then we have three nodes left. And from the three nodes left, you see that the top node has a connection to two yellow. So we call it in a different color and else. And this is the result. The color refinement does not change. So the color bar graph is the result of the WL test looks like this. Here we have another graph. Is it an isomorphic graph? We proceed the same WL test. And as you can see, the bar chart from graph number one to this graph is identical. So are they isomorphic? Well, unfortunately, color refinement does not distinguish all non-isomorphic graphs. As you can see, it has a problem with triangle. The solution is to go to higher order extensions. And of course, you will have noticed there's a strict resemblance to graph message passing neural networks. And this was noticed. And if you are unfamiliar with message passing in graph theory, I have a specific video on this topic. You can go and check it out. Xu proposed a specific choice of aggregation update function that make the message passing neural network equivalent to the WL algorithm, JIN. This is as powerful as a message passing neural network can get. Now, if you would like to have a deep dive into this topic, I recommend this article by Michael Bronstein on the expressive power of graph neural networks and device filer Lehmann test published in towardsdatascience.com.